hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video if you guys are new here welcome um, my name is Zion Marie. Today's video, we have a glueless unit. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got it to not look so glueless because I know a lot of times people, you know, they show you guys that these lace can be worn glueless and sometimes the lace still shows and that's inevitable. But I wanna show you guys how I kind of cheat the method with no glue, of course, it's still glueless. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, make sure you stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump straight into today's video. We are gonna be working with a glueless unit, which I'm excited about. This wig is from Eunice. So thank you to Eunice for sponsoring today's video. So we have a curly wig that has some really pretty um, blonde highlights going on. And yeah, I'm sure you guys have been seeing or hearing about the whole glueless wig thing. And I'm personally a huge fan of it because it just saves you so much time. And these knots are actually pre-bleached. Um, so it's a double whammy. You got pre-bleached knots pre-plucked hairline and your lace is pre-cut as well so everything is literally done for you um let's get into the construction of the wig so you guys can understand a little bit about how it stays on your head so they do provide an adjustable elastic band so of course you can make it as loose or as tight as you prefer there is like a silicone grip that kind of runs throughout the cap construction um and that also helps with the wig sliding off and then you're gonna get a comb in the back and then two combs on the side as well. And this is your parting space. So this is gonna be a closure unit. So yeah, this is basically what the wig is looking like. This is the inside of it. So let's go ahead and just put her on our head. I like to just put it on my head first before I adjust it so I can see if I need to make it looser or tighter. So this is the unit right on my head out of the box and it's feeling good. I don't think that I need to add anything to like make it tighter because it's, it's pretty tight on my head already. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like right out of the box. These are what the curls look like. So I think this is perfect. I don't, like I said, I don't think I need to do anything to it. We can kind of give it a pull test, y'all. This is not coming off my head. And I'm kind of pulling too tight with these clips. I think I might not use the clips. So I'm going to clip this hair back. And I'm noticing the, la the lace here is kind of bulging. Okay, y'all, so we gonna flatten this lace. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna take my small mini curlers and I'm just gonna do this, see if it works. Okay, it did. I feel like I'm just ironing the lace. These are not hot. I honestly have had these plugged up for less than a minute. Okay, y'all, so I just went and cut off some of this extra lace that was on there because I feel like it was just too much. It was some lace on there that had, like, no strands of hair. So I went and cut it so now you guys can see that it's, like, way closer to the hairline, which is what you want. Like, you don't want a whole bunch of extra lace. I feel like that just makes it look... It, give, it doesn't look way... way. So I'm going to take some um, powder and place that on the lace so we can get it to match our skin tone. The two darkest shades, I normally mix them together. So that's what we're gonna do. Adding some here into our parting space. So, what I'm going to do now to kind of help melt the lace because sometimes with these glueless units, y'all, even though they're completely glueless and they look good, sometimes it is detectable that you have, like, you know, you have a wig on. And that's kind of like what we want it to just be easy and convenient for us. So I'm going to push these hairs back that are in the front. And I'm going to take some mousse, just a little bit of mousse. And I'm also going to take one of these melting bands that I have, or a scarf, whatever you've got. 
Okay, y'all, so let's get into this before. This is what the lace is looking like before. Not too bad, but we can make it look better. We're gonna take just a little bit of mousse and put that in the front. Just focus it on your lace. It can get on the hair too, that's no biggie. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after I just put a little bit of mousse on the lace. And now I'm just going to lay this down for like a minute or two. So we can let that dry. Boom. So while we got that going, we're going to go ahead and work on the curls of this wig. And y'all, this hair is super full. This hair is really full. I'm really liking this. I really am. So, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of water and mousse to the curls. Um, not too much, just so that I can get rid of these factory curls and kind of see what the real texture of hair is giving. So, I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to get the hair damp. And now I'm also going to take some mousse, put some of that into my hands as well, and we're going to run it through the hair. Y'all know if you have curly hair, mousse is your friend. So, adding some mousse and some product, and then I'm going to take... A paddle brush and start from the ends of the wig and we're going to do a little detangling so we got the factory style curls and then we've got the real curls. That's why it's so important to make sure you're going in and giving the curls some life because how the curls come is never how they really look. Of course, but I always gotta add in some layers to just frame my face. I feel like it just looks so much better, especially with curly hair, you want it to look full and I feel like layers just give it that. So taking my scissors on a downward angle and I'm just gonna start cutting. I don't want like two, I don't want dramatic layers with this unit. So I'm going to probably just leave it like that. Add a couple more down here. Okay. So not cutting off too much, but just enough so that we've got, you know, we've got a little bit of dimension in our hair. So let's do the same thing on this side. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more foam, mousse, whatever you call it, to the front pieces that I just, to the front pieces that I just cut off. So I can give those pieces some extra definition. So with curly hair, I also like to kind of go in into smaller sections and add product and go in and really give the hair 
some definition that's something that i really like when i'm wearing curly hair whether it's a wig or even my natural hair i really like a lot of definition so going in literally with some mousse and some water and just giving it some extra definition really will make all the difference in your look and you really want to make sure that you're focusing on the ends of the hair as well because just like curly or i'm sorry just like your natural hair um the ends of a wig dry out first so i always want to make sure i'm giving some extra tender love and care to the ends of the wig good got some good definition going on this side these highlights are literally so pretty i feel like they're not too much and they're you know it's just the right amount of highlights all right, so I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on this side to this. All right, y'all, so while we kind of let this hair air dry a bit, let's take off our melting bin or our scarf. And y'all, look at that. Chef's freaking kiss. Look at that melt. Look at that. It literally looks so good. So freaking good well, this wig is completely glueless i'm going to show y'all we got our comb stuck right under there completely glueless so that's just a little hack that i like to do when i'm wearing a glueless wig because even though it is 100 percent glueless sometimes that lace still does show because of course it's not glued down so the lace is not it's not melted it's not laid so using just a little bit of mousse and a scarf y'all and you're good to go so i am i think i'm gonna straighten up this part a little bit so y'all i lied i'm just gonna leave it alone because i don't want to mess up none of these curls this part is fine like, don't worry about it. but yeah so i think i'm going to uh diffuse these curls because I don't really feel like sitting and letting them air dry, honestly. So after that, we will come back and chat and talk about how bomb this wig is. Okay, y'all so that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed this honestly super duper quick tutorial on basically how we are melting our lace with no glue no spray no nothing this is 100 percent glueless y'all so if you're interested in this wig of course as you already know the information will be linked down below but y'all let's really get into this hair let's get into a close-up of everything so you can really see no games no gimmicks i I wanted to show you guys how I did this and y'all this wig is bomb I'm really feeling the color I feel like this is a really nice wig that you can wear as like a transition into fall so y'all I'm excited about this wig and the good thing with glueless wigs is literally you can take it off and put it back on and the curls will be preserved honestly especially if you keep them up and put them in like a bag or something but you guys, that is it for today's video. Like I said, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, make sure you are subscribed to your girl's channel. Hit that post notification button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And again, huge shout out and thank you to Eunice here for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I will see you guys on my next upload. Love y'all.